Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. It's the moment you guys have been waiting for the start of the 2018-2019 season. Eagle-eyed viewer will notice I'm repping some different goggles today. Unigear reached out to me, asked me to uh, give these a little review. I'm gonna start off. These are definitely not, you know, your $200 goggles, but. They're doing a pretty damn good job, and they are warm and comfy, and uh, my plan is to give them a little test ride for a, at least a part of the season. So we'll see how it goes. Of course, Eric is here. Good morning, you too. Quick little update. Uh, as you can see, the colors on the lenses throw me for a loop. First time I've had gradient lenses. Pretty much the colors you see, this purple to the green to the orange to the purple, is kind of what I'm seeing on the slopes. And now that the light has gotten flat, it makes for a little bit of challenging conditions. Luckily, I have my backup goggles for uh, flat light conditions, but you know, they are handling the texture pretty well. And Still uh, giving it a 9 out of 10. goggles you know lots of flat light as you can see but uh you know my previous complaints about the gradient of the lens color actually kind of help in the flat light condition so you just kind of dip your head get a little bit of a different color and you can kind of pick up on the shadows some more as i was saying before my phone died <sighs> if i can get my damn Hold on. As I was saying before my phone died, my uh, Unigear goggles holding up just fine in the flat light. And the uh, crazy gradient that I'm getting on the lens is actually working out to an advantage. So, uh, yeah, I'm giving it, I'm giving it 9 out of 10 for someone who's looking for a relatively inexpensive quality pair of goggles to go out and hit the mountain with.
32 degrees outside. I mean, give you a little sense of what's going on. So, uh, currently 10 o'clock. It's cold. I can't feel my fingers. And we're drinking hot chocolate. All my cameras are dying because of the cold, so my Rilo is currently dead. My phone is currently dead. <clears throat> Luckily, Hotronics are still working just fine. I don't know how long we're gonna stay up here, though. It's uh, it's not, it's not a hundred percent bearable. The Unigear goggles are doing just fine. Still throwing me for a loop for the color gradient in the lens because I can see that, but in this flat light, it actually seems to work really well. So, uh, you know, keep your eyes out below for a link to the goggles. Um, it also take you to my in-depth review on my website and a link to purchase on Amazon. And I'll give you guys a follow-up later in the season, kind of like a long-term review.